welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy and I'm here with Lisa Gornick here who has brought her uh, live drawing show to the French. Hello Lisa, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, yeah, Excellent. thank you. Excellent. Thanks. Now, can you tell our audiences just a wee bit about what they can expect at your show? Well, they can expect live drawing. I, um, I draw throughout the show. Do you want to be in the camera or you? Ah, just at me. Well, uh, just yeah. like nice chat. <laughs> <laughs> don't be, don't hug the camera last <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I draw. Um, so I'm live, I'm drawing, like, I'm on a, it's like a, it's a studio, mm. like a little, or at my house, like my desk at home. And um, I'm drawing, talking to the audience, I'm talking directly at them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't have, if they don't want to do that, they can sit at the back, or if they right, want to okay. get involved, it's not, I'm not, I'm not doing major audience participation. Mm -hmm. But it's just, um, it was just telling stories and drawing at the same time. That's what I got really interested in yeah. and how the pen goes and the watercolour. So they see a lot of watercolour drawing, paintings drawings on the side of me, like the projected oh, camera okay. top okay. that goes into there and sits beside me. And I'm talking at the audience yeah. with them, or at them hopefully too much, <laughs> telling the story, telling yeah. the story, yeah. Brilliant. And is it a, a personal story that you're telling? Or? It is quite personal, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yes. And is, is it your kind of journey sort of through the art world or? I think that's a good one to do actually, yeah. mm, like the, my, my, <laughs> my non-journey through the art world, my right. journey that has never happened. Mm. No, what it is is um, I found these photographs of my grandmother mm -hmm. and she was quite a, uh, I remember her being, she was an interesting woman because sometimes she had a very posh accent and sometimes she got quite cockney, especially towards the end of her life, she got right. very cockney. And I, found, I thought, what is grandma like? And then I, I found other things out about her and I thought, I was talking with Lucy, who's my friend from Edinburgh University actually, mm -hmm. If your grandma's life's really interesting, why don't you do that as your drawing show, as your first drawing show? So it's really a story about me and my grandma mm. and finding out stuff about her and how actually the more I find out, the more the more it relates to who I am right now. Amazing, amazing. And in terms of, um, sort of the paintings that you've been doing, uh, do you find that you know it can change what you draw or, or paint depending on the audience or things like that? You know? Yeah, I think it does depend mm. on what's going on in the audience. and. Uh, just I get I get well certainly a, a few of them I get inspired by things they might say, yeah. um, and there is different each time. I mean the show is quite different each time depending mm -hmm. on the energy in the room yeah. and what I might let out about myself and what I might find out about them if they want to let me know. But I mean, um, so it's a different show each time. I feel yeah. Amazing. And how have audiences been taking it so far? I think really well. I mean. Um, I think I maybe there's two sides. There's one that's quite interesting in the actual story, and mm -hmm. they're like, "Oh, and that, okay, I want to actually hear the story." And then there's some that just, oh, they just get into the whole drawing aspect mm -hmm. of it, and maybe they find because I suppose the drawing can be a bit more comic, and the story itself has quite poignant elements. Mm -hmm. It's not all comedy. It's a story of a woman in the 1920s and what some of the things she had to go through. So, I think I think you can get both. You can come there and not, uh, you know, what I don't want to laugh, or like, wow, this is actually quite funny because yeah. it has got comedy in it as well. Excellent. I think it's got a kind of um, cabaret-esque off to it. A bit of technical uh, issues there. It's okay, we can edit them out of here. Hang on. Oh. Oh, I'm just going to take two off my phone. Just give me a moment. Well, you didn't do mine either. Uh, yeah, it's good that you should be doing it. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's nice, those little mistakes. Do. Just quick. There we go. I'll give oh. you that, and I'll put it on the back. one. Oh, no, no worries. Sorry, I just look like I've been running. And I put my little sweater on because I thought it looked nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Why did you put your sweater on, Lisa, if you're so sweaty? I don't know, don't worry. I'm always quite casual. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, is that still rolling the way down? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll just okay. keep it straight back in there. Um, so let me just check. Sorry, don't no, yeah. no, right. Um, so yeah, obviously, it, it, you know, it's kind of got something for everyone, though, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. I think so. And I think, I, I feel, because I'm looking at the audience, mm -hmm. I'm looking right at them, which is quite interesting. I try and just like say, okay, there's a lot of kids in. That's interesting. Right. I'll do it for the kids. Or, you know, yeah. um, uh, so um, it's the it, it's, I do feel energy. I'm sure a lot of solo performers do this where they feel the energy of like who, what's in the room. Mm -hmm. So I haven't, I've got a set thing, I suppose, for each time there's a story that I'm going to tell. I'm not totally improvising the story, but I'm discovering new things. I'm thinking, oh, that's actually, that actually made me feel this way. Mm. Um, you know. I, at each performance, I might think a different thing, like, God, actually, how was it like that? And sometimes I might start off thinking, God, I really miss my mum. I want, my, I want to talk to my mum now. Yeah. And um, there'll be other things that influence it yeah. and that might eke out. Right. Or, yeah. Gosh, so it's just a completely fresh experience you know, every day. Every day it's a fresh experience. And I think that's, that's the best, I suppose that's the best way to, for me to do it. Yeah. Yeah, right. not to be too stuck. Yeah. I think I, think I enjoy it more because I think, I think the act of drawing is quite fresh and mm. it should be kind of like, oh, 
oh, is that good? Oh, I don't even know if that's good or not, but mm -hmm. that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so that's how the show, sh show sh could should be. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. That sounds absolutely fascinating, Aww. Louisa. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah, thank you so much for kind of bringing it to the fringe. It's always, I always think it's really nice to get these personal stories, you know, because yeah. it's the time to do it almost, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. So yeah. where and when can our audiences find? The Gilded Balloon. And in Teviot, in the Teviot Row House, the old student union. And um, it's in the balcony room, and every day at 1.30 until the end of the festival. Excellent. So it's there, and it's, um, ticket prices vary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> depending Easy, depending yeah. on the Gilded Balloon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, thank you so, so much, Lisa. It's absolutely uh, lovely to meet you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. It's been another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers. Mm -hmm.